Armadillos are little animals that come with barrel-shaped armor. In Spanish, its name means little armored one. The armor helps armadillos against predators. However, it's not enough to protect them from cars. Armadillos have taken the stage in recent years, and if you check Instagram, you'll see plenty of armadillo pics. Its rise in popularity has led to a lot of people thinking of keeping them as pets. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the pink fairy armadillo. Wait, there's a pink fairy armadillo? Yep, there is. And we're gonna spend some time getting to know it a little bit better. So, you haven't been introduced to the pink fairy armadillo yet? The pink fairy armadillo is the smallest member of the armadillo family and is an endangered species. Unlike other armadillos, it has a dorsal shell that is almost completely separate from its body. The tiny animal digs so super fast that it can bury itself in its burrow in just a few seconds, especially when threatened. To further keep itself safe from predators, its armor plate functions as a cork that seals the burrow's entrance. Before we talk about it further, we'd like to put a couple things into perspective. How many kinds of armadillos are there? There's approximately 21 species of armadillos today. The nine-banded armadillo is the only species that's found in the US, and it also happens to be the official state animal of Texas. The armadillo is so named due to the presence of the bony plates, which cover their backs like armor. Going back to the nine-banded armadillo, even if its name says nine, it only has about 7 to 11 bands. It's the number of armored plates which identify the various species. Contrary to popular belief that all armadillos can protect themselves by rolling into an armored ball, there's only one species that can do that. Other armadillos simply dig a hole and hunker down to escape predators. Distinguished by their long sticky tongues and pointy snouts, armadillos are known to have wiry hairs along their belly and sides which are used to feel around. The hairs can be likened to curb feelers, which are present on some cars. Armadillos have a gestation period of two to five months. Most species of armadillo give birth to one to 12 young in their burrow. The babies are called pups, and according to the San Diego Zoo, twin births are not that uncommon. For example, the nine-banded armadillo has four identical pups of the same gender every time they give birth, while on the other hand, seven-banded armadillos have eight to 15 identical pups at one time. The pups quickly mature and, they are weaned from two to four months. Once they reach nine to 12 months, they've already got offspring. Generally, armadillos can live up to 30 years. The three banded armadillos median life expectancy is around 15 years. Armadillos can come in a range of colors. They can be yellow, gray, black, red, or in this case, pink. The giant armadillo can have up to 100 teeth, while the screaming hairy armadillo got its name from the sound it makes when it's threatened. Why does the pink fairy armadillo have a curious pink shell unlike other armadillos? One of the main things that makes the pink armadillo very unique is its pink shell. Unlike other armadillos, the shell is actually flexible and fragile, meaning that the shell offers little to no protection and, according to scientists, its main purpose is thermoregulation, or for the maintenance of the body's core internal temperature. The color of the shell does change depending upon the environment where the animal is in. The irrigation of blood into the blood vessels increases or decreases depending on various environmental factors that lead to color changes. The more blood flows into the shell, the more the armadillo's body temperature falls, draining the blood out of the shell. This helps the pink armadillo retain its body heat. Underneath the shell is a yellowish white silky fur. It might be counterintuitive to have a distinct white and pink shell in the desert, which attracts predators. But the pink fairy armadillo is subterranean, so it barely stays above ground, which makes it quite safe. What's the pink fairy armadillo's habitat like? The dry shrubland and deserts of central Argentina and other parts of South America are where you're going to find this pink furry armadillo. The neotropical regions of San Juan, La Pampa, Buenos Aires, Mendoza, and San Luis are where they are primarily found. The armadillo's geographic range is limited to these places due in part to heavy rainfall in other areas. The pink armadillos only tunnel about six inches below the surface, so they're not safe in places where there is heavy rainfall due to the fact that this could lead to their burrows being flooded. However, due to the current adverse conditions and climate change, experts predict that the current population of the pink armadillo will become even lower. This raises a major concern, and more people are advocating for the safety of these little delightful creatures. Curious to know what these guys eat? The pink fairy armadillo is an omnivore, so it eats food both of plant and meat origin. The pink armadillo's diet consists of ants and larvae that are found underground, but can also occasionally dine on worms, snails, various insects, and other plant matter. It often builds complex tunnel systems close to anthills, and it primarily emerges during nighttime to gather food. 
Does it really have a butt plate? Another interesting fact about the Pink Fairy Armadillo is that it has flattened armor on its rear, which most people refer to as a butt plate. It's designed as to be compact and is compressed so that the dirt that the armadillo digs through with his claws. The Pink Armadillo is quite tiny and vulnerable to predators, so its butt plate is used to close the burrow behind it and create an open space in front so that it can still carry out exploration and breathe normally. What's the conservation status of the armadillo? The conservation status of the pink fairy armadillo is uncertain. The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species lists its data as deficient. There has been a dramatic drop in the population of pink armadillos over the past couple of years, and one of the major factors blamed for the dwindling numbers is farming activists. However, there are also predators, including domestic cats and dogs, that have contributed to the decline. Pink armadillos are seldom sighted, and those that have been captured in the wild do tend to die within two days of having been removed from their environment. Only a single pink armadillo was able to live four years in captivity. Pink armadillos have a challenging time surviving outside their natural habitat. They're unable to adapt to an artificial diet, and that's why they can't and shouldn't be kept as pets. They're very sensitive to changes in their natural environment, and they become very stressed when they are moved someplace else. The pink armadillos need urgent conservation attention because of their limited territory, rarity, and the existing threats around them. They're at the risk of becoming extinct if nothing is done about their plight. Pink armadillos are believed to have solitary lifestyles. However, scientists believe that when mating, pink armadillos have a polygamous lifestyle. Females will only give birth to a single young, so they can't reproduce very fast, unlike other animals. The shells of young pink armadillos won't harden until they're fully grown, and according to Argentine's top conservative biologist, a whopping 95% of pink armadillos die in captivity within eight days. This further underscores the importance of keeping them safe and ensuring ensuring that they don't become extinct so that later generations can marvel them. How does it hunt for prey? The massive set of claws on its hind and front legs serves as tools that help them quickly burrow in compact soil. Biologists have long presumed that they can swim through sand like how a fish would swim through water. However, that's nothing but a myth, as they actually dig using their claws. However, the same claws that make it easy to dig make it difficult for the pink armadillo to walk on hard surfaces due to the fact that the claws are very large to the scale of the armadillo armadillo's body. It only serves them well on sand, although it is a nocturnal animal and remains active all day when in captivity. The pink armadillo has very small eyes, so it doesn't rely on its vision, but instead, its navigational skill comes from hearing and touching. The torpedo-shaped nose is well adapted to moving underground because it reduces drag. Its long tail is also more than an appendage. The hairless and thick tail is used for stability and balance when its other limbs are busy with other tasks, like digging. If you're thinking of getting a pink armadillo as a pet, don't. Pink armadillos are sold on the marketplace as pets. However, their survival rate in captivity isn't very promising, so they should be left alone where they naturally are. Aside from animals and predators and farming, which threaten their safety, fairy pink armadillos have also been harvested for decades for consumption. According to some, they have a texture and taste that's comparable to pork, and this has added to the many dangers that they're already facing. Pink fairy armadillos aren't dangerous to humans, but humans are dangerous to them. Because of their rarity and the extreme sensitivity to changes in their environment, they can die easily. When their burrows are flooded, they are forced above ground, which makes them vulnerable to predators. They can die from hypothermia if their fur gets wet. When humans get a hold of them, they die from stress. Do you find the pink fairy armadillo cute like most of us do? Well, let's keep in mind that they're very rare and are most probably endangered, and we need to do our part in making sure that they're protected and survive. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. We'll see you again next time.